they lost that focus on capturing that, what I would call that user-generated content, capturing supply from content creators. And they had to kind of go back to their core, which is what they've done since, and now they've raised another $75 million. It's a tempting thought to wonder if this could convert into an acquisition of SoundCloud. Interesting example here of a traditional business, traditional linear business in Pandora and SiriusXM funding SoundCloud. Now, you may know of SoundCloud. SoundCloud historically ran into a lot of trouble. They'd raised a lot of money and then had to have a, a series of layoffs uh, a couple of years ago, roughly maybe a year and a half ago or so. Um, and what SoundCloud really, from a platform dynamic, was enabling people to create remixes and to mash up different versions of songs and to also allow musicians to publish remixes or to publish their music directly to SoundCloud. Um, SoundCloud stopped putting as much of an emphasis on that unique music and wanted to now kind of compete more directly with say Spotify. They were trying to get into music licensing and all these other kinds of things. And they lost that focus on capturing that, what I would call that user generated content, capturing supply from content creators, right? They were starting to get into the game where you have to now get supply from the uh, record labels, which is much more consolidated supply. They weren't focusing as much on the fragmented supply. As you know, on the show, platforms work really well with fragmentation, not so much with consolidated supply. So they strayed away from that. And ultimately, they uh, had to cut way back on expenses and they had to kind of go back to their core, which is what they've done since and now they've raised another 75 million dollars to really help um, fuel that now what they're describing themselves as is the youtube of audio because of its profusion of user-generated content and so now you have this linear traditional media company in sirius and pandora where they are getting they already have those music streaming rights and now what they are getting is that user-generated content music from soundcloud um soundcloud touts some musicians that are you know publishing music uh directly to soundcloud such as billy uh, eilish post malone bad bunny khaled and some other people. Uh, this was an interesting quote. It's a tempting thought to wonder if this could convert into an acquisition of SoundCloud by Sirius. Indeed, it does provide a complement to Pandora and potentially fills a gap both for the international audience, over 200 million tracks from 25 million creators with listeners in 190 countries, and also more original content. So you're seeing new original content from fragmented supply, content creators that have large followings published directly on SoundCloud. And then you have a whole other audience of derivative content, remixes, taking existing tracks and, uh, and, and, and doing other remixes and that kind of stuff. This is a trend I think we're clearly seeing here in audio and streaming services. How can you bring that derivative content? How can you bring that original content from fragmented supply, uh, from people that are creating their own music that maybe is outside of a record labels purview? And then that, if it's in the record labels purview, now you get locked up in all these licensing agreements and um, things that Spotify has to deal with. We've covered on the show in the past that Spotify is trying to move more into, say, podcasts. So all these music streaming, um, uh, they're not platforms, but music streaming services that have consolidated supply are trying to figure out how to get fragmented user-generated content, either that's original or derivative content. This is a trend that you're seeing in music, and I think you're also going to start seeing this more with video uh, and traditional media video content as well. Hi, this is Alex from Winner Take All. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the content. Feel free to leave a comment, ask us questions, and definitely make sure to join us on our next live stream.